that has kept these children disappearing and we the people ultimately enslaved to a mind control operation operating on behalf of multinational corporations. I also want to... And you know what? Uh, are you there? Can you hear yeah, me? Yes. We're here. Okay. What I wanted to say that you're absolutely right, Len, and the other part of it is they try, of course they failed with me, but they, they try to use intimidation tactics. They use like a stalker, like this Tim White is a stalker. Um, and he's a total, he's a total psychopath. He's a whack job. And, you know, they send a guy like this. He would never dare to come near me. I, I, I wouldn't like to tell you what I'd do if he came near me, and he knows it. He wouldn't, he wouldn't dare to come within any, any distance of me. Barbara, it's so see. funny that you say that because when he called me to threaten me on my cell phone, I, you know, I had the information from you that he was a cross-dresser. So uh -huh. I said to him, and he called me up basically calling me a whore. And I said, well, if anybody is a whore, it's you, Timothy Patrick. That's right. You're the one that likes to dress up like a whore, which means you like to get big uh, dildos up your rear end. And, <laughs> and he's all of, oh, you my know, gosh. I, well, you know, that was... These characters, you couldn't make, you couldn't make it up. No, you couldn't, no, make, you it couldn't, up. couldn't make this story because, up. Yeah, Absolutely. And, it's, and, it's, and, it's, and, it's, and we, they discredit themselves, which makes us seem like, you know, why are we talking about these people that are just clowns and nobody really takes them serious and nothing really gets done. That's part of the whole thing. They're a joke and everybody takes them as a joke. But in reality, they're part of a much a much bigger picture, which yes. is the most well, serious well, issue exactly. on the planet. And, and there's another issue, too, here, Sherry, and, and that is there's a reason they use amateurs like Tim White. Okay, not all of them are amateurs. Obviously, the, the other people are, some of the other people are professionals. White is, is a rank amateur. The reason they use people like this is because they can plausibly deny that, you know, he's a whack job. Anybody can look at him and see. Okay, so it, it, the point that you brought up that discredits the whole thing, that's part of it. Uh, and, and, of course, they can cut him loose any time. He's nothing right. to them. Yeah, but they continue and they, to keep and him. And they, what they'll do is they'll feed his ego, and then they'll make up a tale. For instance, I'm sure they've told all these little provocateurs all these tall tales about me. Oh, you know, she's CIA, and, and she's this, and she's that. And, and they'll, they'll create a vendetta. They will, they will like plot and hatch a vendetta because they, ha they have, they, they're ruled by their emotions. They're not logical, and yes. because they're yeah. amateurs, they don't know what they're yeah, doing. Let's, they're let's spend a second. Let's set, spend one minute and just tell everybody in the audience all the wonderful labels that they've given us. I'll start with myself. <laughs> I, I am a Jew trader who's knighted by the Pope in the Vatican. <laughs> okay. Okay, Sherry, you, why don't you go next? What are you? <laughs> um, I, I'm, uh, well, you know, obviously they called me a whore and a slut, but I'm also uh, worked for the um, MI6. MI6 and Mossad. I work for the Mossad. Oh, oh, that, yeah, the, oh, they made a mistake with the Mossad first, I guess, unless they're saying that MI6 <laughs> is part of the Mossad. And, and then they person. said that my name was Sherry Temkin Kenselberg, and they got some name. <laughs> found a, a Sherry Kane that lived in Los Angeles who was 53 years old, and I'm not near 53 yet, but they thought that that could be me, so they spread that around the Internet. And then they also spread around that I was I was married in the 90s to a guy when I had a restaurant, and they, they totally, like, took out a whole complete decade of my life, and they neglected to add that on, so they only know about one part of my life, but they don't know anything else. They don't know – they. They tell me that my maiden name, which is Kentelberg, is not, is, which is not, <laughs> definitely not, never was. <laughs> uh, how about, how about, uh, how about Gunderson? I think they tried to find the most Jewish name they could find. Uh, sure, That's absolutely. What it is. <laughs> but what about Anthony Hilder, who is partnered with Gunderson in this aircraft.org uh, scam right. that they then now have a, a video of you yes. sharing? They have a video of me. They, they tell, it's, they're being accused of protecting the pedophiles, and the video, which is called Let the Truth Be Told, comes on the air, and you have Hilder in his toupee. He's 100 years old. <laughs> he's covered up. He's hiding behind this, this toupee, like a, a toupee, and he says, oh, 
you know, on a scale from one to ten, Sherry Kane is a blah. He called me a six and a half. He said that I was like Monica Lewinsky, <laughs> and he said uh, basically um, that I was really uh, Len was a really nice guy. And I'm a nice guy, but, but I, she's but my I'm, handler. But I'm the handler, and. Basically, how could they ever call you a nice guy when in 2007 they created the fake Knights of Malta list before you even met me? Yeah. So they're trying to blame me and set me up for saying, well, if something happens to Dr. Horowitz, well, you know who's behind it. It's her. Yeah, they're doing that too. Barbara, you're next. Go ahead. Oh, oh, I, I can't even remember. The list goes <laughs> I just, I've been called. The, the most frequent thing that I've been called, of course, everybody Everybody, I've read it on the internet for ten years now. All these people, according to these people, I'm just CIA. I'm yeah. CIA. I never got out. I'm CIA. Of course, that was the only thing they could probably think of to say that anybody might believe, because they couldn't impugn my sanity. Yeah. Um, Here, here's the crazy. And they couldn't intimidate me. So <laughs> there was really nothing left. There was nothing left except for to say that I was CIA. And so I'm a CIA disinfo agent. And of course, I'm a slut and a whore, according to the, just like with any woman. You see, they're misogynists, every last right. one of them. <laughs> they're racists and misogynists. And specifically, um, you know, I, I would call them Jew haters. Oh, yeah. they are. Oh, big sure. time. They're disgusting. Big time. It's absolutely disgusting. I, I yeah. think they're human haters because ultimately, and love haters because they're completely engaged in the Church of Satan and yeah. what they call the evidence shows they're Bible believers, quote unquote, the brothers in the <laughs> Bible believers. Uh, yeah. Churches that are literally satanic. And you know, there's a, something. This guy named Doug Millar, who is part of their group. Oh you know, my God! He <laughs> he came out last year before we were even like onto this research at the conspiracy conference, and he started heckling Dr. Horowitz in the audience, screaming out like, you know, you're a knight of Malta, and you're a, you know in front of the audience. And and Len didn't really. Len just thought, oh well, this guy's just. You know, an individual who's got. I, I, mean, I knew Doug Millar. I had no idea that he worked intimately with Ted Gunderson. And I just thought of Doug Millar as kind of like a fairly ignorant, kind of white trash a fellow who is lame, that he's missing some portion of his brain. Because over the years. <laughs> well, you, Len, you know, I, I've known him. I've known him for over a decade. No, more than. I've known him for maybe 13 years, Doug Millar. Okay, and he, he well, I can tell you what he is. He's a low-level uh, penetration agent. He, he goes to, like, Patriot meetings and takes license plate numbers, okay? And he's, he's an idiot. Doug Millar is an idiot. That's all I can, and I'm sure if you know him, you know that's true. Well, and if you or if you read his writings, yeah, it's right. He's had this one article. It was so ridiculous. It was the dumbest article we ever read. And in the article, it said, "Oh," and he named like all these people. And then it had you, and it said, "And by the way, <laughs> Barbara Harlow, God bless her. She's still controlled by the CIA. She's still under mind control." You know, and it was like we laughed at that. We're like, "This guy is a freak." Now, now wait a second, folks. <laughs> yeah. I got to tell you this. Now we're talking again. We're <laughs> featuring tonight. We are Ted Gunderson, and Ted Gunderson, his quote uh, describing Doug Millar, the accolade is that Doug Millar is the nation's leading expert in Michael Aquino, the leading authority in propaganda for the United States military, and the founder of the Temple of Set, an offshoot of the Church of Satan. Well, I gave him such an elaborate title. For yes, for a complete a... idiot. Can you imagine that? Now, so he, that so he is that, an idiot. He is a complete but, imbecile. But Gunderson was trying to make him look like he was smarter and gave him a better title. I mean, it's still... I mean, but Gunderson the... knows he's an idiot. Ted of course, told me... Of course. I remember Ted, many years ago, I, I, I was on the phone with Ted. I don't remember what we were talking about, but something came up about Doug Millar and... Ted just said, oh, he's an idiot. He's an idiot. <laughs> well, well, yeah, of course, but if he told that to everybody, then he, then Doug Millar would be discredited for protecting Gunderson. So he has to promote well, Millar yes, publicly. Well, yeah, but, 
But Doug Millar is like a factotum for Gunderson. I mean, <laughs> yeah, that's how that's I, I see him. He's like a step and fetch it, you know. For Ted Gunderson. A dog. That's what we call him. Well, the barking dog is is Timothy Patrick White. Timothy Patrick White. And when Timothy Patrick White called me on my cell phone and and I embarrassed him in front of his CIA buddies, CIA, FBI cronies who were listening on that phone call because the phone went silent and then he hung up. And he never called back again. He never called back again. We were laughing. But I know that the beginning of the call when he called me was to really to black try to blackmail me with some kind of an audio tape he said he got from this show and you know on this show they have to call you know we have to call in there's no female operator that comes on and they created this whole like weird recording of a woman who sounded like Tammy Faye Baker like eating a sandwich with this guy and they said it was me and Len and so I put it on my <laughs> I put it on my website because it was hysterical but but he tried to threaten me with that with that tape saying, oh, I'm going to get this tape out. It's a sex tape of you of you guys. I'm like, whoopee doo. I'm like, first of all, I, say, I know you don't have anything on. like that, but let's hear it. Let's sure. hear it. And, um, and then after that happened with Timothy Patrick White, that's when I got a call. Like, that's when I got an email from Truot who said, now, Sherry Kane, you've really discredited yourself, and I have a tape of you, and he, he threatened me. So I knew they were working really intimately together. And that's together. when they referred uh, the emails additionally to Gunderson and Hilder to get them involved, and that's how we got And Eric John Phelps and, and Eric Timothy Phelps. Patrick White. Right, and that's how the first mm. time we realized that Gunderson was involved with these very low-level, very stupid people. Well, that's right. And I'll tell you something about this Ott. I never heard of this guy, never heard of him until, actually, I used to listen to a a radio station, uh, RBN, and I've been on some of the shows there going back years, but, you know, it's Republic Broadcasting Network. So I I was absolutely, you know, stunned when I start, they, they give this guy True Ott a, a program. So I, I, I used to, like, have it on in the background, you know, RBN, when I was doing housework or something. So I'm doing my chores and I'm listening, and I said to myself, something's, something's not right with this guy. And the next thing I know, I see that he's bringing on Ted Gunderson, John DeCamp, and Doug Millar. Bingo! I said, now I know what's wrong with the guy. Yeah, they, exactly. always, right. they always expose themselves. It's like so obvious. Yeah. And, and he went after that, and he started sending emails. Now, he has supposedly has a business online, a health business, selling health alternative health products. He First, he wrote a, a story stating to Greg Zemanski, who interviewed him, saying that he felt that Len was a knight of Malta because after he, he had a laboratory that was um, raided by the FDA after Len came to visit it. Which I, I asked, I mean, I, I don't have the greatest memory. I mean, so I thought, well, maybe he's telling the truth. So I asked my ex-wife, Jackie, whether or not she knew anything about that. She says, no, Len. She said, we never visited him. So it's kind of like they made that whole story up. They made it up. And are, are you there, Barbara? Yes, I'm here. Oh, okay. Um, and so, uh, yeah, they made up this whole story. And so then he started putting these rants in about how, you know, that we're Jews and the Jews are the spawn of Satan and, like, I mean, really anti-Semitic stuff. Like, do, why do you believe in Jesus? He he was a red hair with blue eyes because, of course, Odd had red hair and blue eyes. And, <laughs> and, 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 and it was like he just went on and on. I'm thinking, this guy has a business online. Why would he send these incriminating emails to an investigative journalist who can post them. Either one, he has You know no what? I, 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 if you look at this guy's face, okay, you look, I took one look at his face. Um, you can see the demon. Can't you see it? Well, I thought yeah. he looked like a police officer or like a detective in some yeah. way, but, yeah, there is some very yeah. evil thing about the him. The first thing that I, I think is a balk is the name. Why would a parent name a child <laughs> true unless it was false? Yeah. Yeah. That sounds like a definite, like, fake name. It's Dr. a fake name. True not. Yeah. True and, I. And, and that's the thing about these guys have multiple aliases, multiple email addresses, and they oh, yeah. use all of them. So you think there's an army of idiots instead of just a handful of idiots attacking you. Well, exactly. And that Tim White, he uses uh, Patrick Alexander, 
George Metesky. I don't remember the the other ones. And then there's another one. There's no, another one of these demonic characters. His name is Todd Fahey. He's the one yeah. that's in with that Zena Carpenter and Tim right. White. And they use that site. I don't believe there is a quote Zena Carpenter. I, be, I believe I, I do know for a fact that this Fahey, Todd Fahey, is using uh, Zena Carpenter as an alias because there were he wrote all kinds of libelous, outrageously libelous reports, so called, about me, and posted them on that site. And they were written by him, not right. by Zena Carpenter. No author was identified. Yeah, and another very famous name is Eric John Phelps, oh, who God. is the theologian for anti 